welcome to Taskmaster. I'm all done, and today's episode is called The Moles. But don't worry, I won't be doing this alone today because I have my little assistant next to me, Rebecca Tom and Johnny. Let's meet today's contestants. We have Andrew, Eva, Jenna, Sam, and Phoebe. Welcome to the show, guys. How are you all feeling? Grand. Normal. Great. Okay. <laughs> That's real nice. So, um, really quickly, do any of you know why the sky is blue? Atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> I do astrophysics. <laughs> you know. Even know. Astrophysics. That was some yeah. great light-hearted banter from the contestants. So let's get on with the show. Today we have three main tasks coming up, as well as a cheeky little prize task, just to give you all the truths today. Prize task now, please. Um, okay, so for the prize task, I asked our contestants to bring the best drink Ooh. with them. Um, first up, we have Phoebe with her best drink. So this is... Uh, hot chocolate made in a saucepan with like actual chocolate bars in it in in a favorite mug It's the best drink most comforting drink. I mean very strong entry straight out the bat First Thank of all the shape of the mugs. I appreciate I appreciate a good mug. What kind of chocolate did you use? It's two whisper bars oh. I would also like to say that it doesn't come across in the picture, but since I brought it in a flask That is the warm hot chocolate in that picture. Phoebe, she's done well. <laughs> done well. Right, who's next? Uh, next up, we have Sam. <laughs> I think, <laughs> fundamentally, it is the best drink. Without water, there can be no life. Without life, there can be no Taskmaster. Fundamentally, it is the like grandfather of all drinks. I don't know, like, I don't know what more I can say for the genuine importance of water. She's just such it a cop is, out. It is the best. She's just such a cop yes. out. It is, but it is the best. Oh, you can't you. deny it. <laughs> Sam, Sam, it's giving, you forgot that you had to do a prize class today, so you went out to the water fountain and filled up a cup with water. It's the 21st century. You forgot to do it. all goes back to your ancient age of 24. But you can't so deny. Old. He was so right. Old. He was there on the fifth day whenever God made people. <laughs> 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 Carton feet and went to the water. I was yeah. kind of, I was walking around for a while looking for Jesus because yeah. you know, <laughs> I wanted him to turn into wine, but yeah, didn't get that. Didn't get that. I genuinely do stand by that. I okay. don't think you can get better than water. Especially like, night after drinks. Have you ever had 3 a.m. in the morning. Hmm? Have you ever had a Red Bull? Red Bull's rubbish. Yeah, I second that actually. Thank okay, you. thank you, Sam. Right, Jenna. <laughs> it's Yazoo. It's fun. <laughs> Used to have it when I was five. Saw it at the centre. <laughs> you know what? What's more fun than Yazoo? Chocolate milk. See, what you wouldn't know about me is those drinks, I have a traumatising experience with them. Well, how was I... Life doesn't come with a trigger warning. How was I supposed to know? That's not very considerate of you, Jenna. Burn. But when I was young, I used to do swimming. I hated swimming lessons, but I'd always get one of them, and now I always associate that with swimming lessons that I hate. Bad connotations, not my problem. It's a personal problem. <laughs> well, if you ask most demographic five-year-olds, they will say Yazoo's are fun. Scale issue. It's, it's a shame a five-year-old oh, isn't hosting the show today. Right, moving on. Next up, we have Eva. I mean, it's the obvious choice. What's that? <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. What, what is that? What, what is it? Heard. It was the cheapest drink I could find. Cost of living. Cheap, yeah, cheaper than tap water. water. I paid my deposit today. I didn't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> just go with whatever was there. Water would have it been the cheapest It was between that option. or the bubblegum one, but I felt like, you know. Mm. As we enter adulthood. Yeah. Taste buds mature. <laughs> with your yazzy. <laughs> <laughs> I take back what I just said. <laughs> yeah, you should. Yeah. Anything else to declare there? No. Well, stunning, right? Um, I suppose we'll go on to Andrew. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> you got the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, empty. <laughs> Is it empty? <laughs> Your 
Is this your justification? I see we both I mean, for milk. <laughs> need to say more. <laughs> that is criminal behaviour. Yeah. It's not. You know that Andrew asked for a white Russian with like, without the alcohol? Milk. <laughs> I'm at loss for words, don't know about you. Life on Earth did not come about because of milk. <laughs> <laughs> when Hume, oh I'm not going to say that, I'm shooting myself in the foot, I've also got a milk based thing. <laughs> without to rebuttal him, but I'm going to keep my mouth shut, actually. Um, I'd love to commend you all on the effort, but I feel at least three, maybe four, of these were purchased five minutes before this was shot. I bought the ice at least an hour before. <laughs> Wait, should we go on with some scoring here? Uh, I think so. You've won 100% had water. We also found, we found the task like last night, so what do you, like, no. I slaved a over a stove to make mine. If Nobody, make nobody's it, denies you've won. <laughs> It's not the 19th century. You don't need to slave over a stove like some sort of squire. It's fine. Just go to Century and just buy a bloody. a bloody. A, a <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Let me just rank these here very quickly. Do you need a minute? I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. How do you feel um, those contestants got on there? If you could give you a few scores there. I feel a bit hard done by. I'm not going to like. I was, I was asked for the best drink, and, you know, I feel like I've had few. But here we are. So with one point, we have Andrew because drinking a full carton of milk is actually criminal. I can't stand behind it. And as somebody who momentarily thought they were lactose intolerant, I do take personal offence. Um, with two points, so fourth place, I believe, is Jenna, just because of the swimming, yeah, the swimming lesson connotations. Personal vendettas. I'll see how it is. Well, you know, I am the one judging this. Yep. So there we are. Um, in third place, I've never had it before, but it looks intriguing. Um, we have Eva. I mean, I like the pineapple flavour. I'm you. glad you picked that. I can't believe this is second. We've got Sam with water. That is I a mean, win for all life on Earth. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, that's, that's a win. A it's, a silver, it's a silver medal for all life on Earth. <laughs> that's very true. And you, know, you got points because of the ice. I appreciate the ice. But obviously, in first place, making an amazing drink has to be Phoebe. Getting all five points there. Round of applause to Phoebe. That's a great. It's not about you. Right, right, we're ready for some scores now. Overall scores. Oh. What a great tally. <laughs> Very close, as we can see. Mm. Can I introduce some blood facts in it? Okay. Um, the first task, um, we went down to Botanic Gardens and we hid two of our crew somewhere in Botanic Gardens and all we asked is that they find them. Um, it didn't go very well. Um, <laughs> Some of it was fun, a lot of it wasn't. Uh, I regret my clothing choices for the day for many of the contestants, um, for reasons you will be able to see in the BT. Um, and yet, yeah. I commend you on your organisational and creative skills. Thank you. Don't worry. So who are we going to see first? Um, first up, we have Eva and Andrew. Um, <laughs> the two of them have been put together for probably being the most insufferable contestants. <laughs> <laughs> overall? Mm, yeah. Mainly in this first task, but overall, thanks for Let's have a look. Wow. <laughs> Hello, Rebecca. Are you ready for your first task? Yeah, absolutely. There we go. Thank you. Task number one, if you want to take a look at it. Oh boy, can't wait. Task, secret agent. The aim of the task is simple. You have five minutes to locate the two secret agents. Hidden in the botanic gardens. The fastest time wins. You may ask as many people as you can within the time limit. But you may only say this phrase. The mole snuck into the garden last night. If they reply with agent activated, you have succeeded. If they give you a bewildered stare, try again. Good luck contestant, your time starts now. Good luck contestant, your time starts now. Do I have any hints? Nope. Do I know? I'm telling you nothing, just go. <laughs> <laughs> can you keep up with me? I, I, of course I can keep up with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe not. The mole has snuck into the garden. 
Exactly, no worries. I can't be bothered asking all three of them. I can't run anymore, I've got, a, I've got asthma. I think he's worse. I have to ask anyone. The mole snuck into the garden last night. What's that? Exactly, it's fine. A reminder, it could be anywhere within the park. Oh, shit. <laughs> See, this is the two I've asked. I feel like I've ruined their day. And everyone else looks busy. Well, you're about to fail your task, Matthew, so you're going to have to weigh up the pros and cons here. Did I get here. kicked out? No. You said hidden. What does that exactly mean? Like, they're hiding? They're in the park. No. It's, it's up. Keep going. <laughs> Andrew, they Pretend are people. They're like active people. They're four minutes gone as well. You've one minute remaining. And they are people, like real life people. Yeah. That's all I can say. That's my whole... Where do moles go? Underneath the ground. Are they in the hedges? We haven't hit anyone underneath the ground, if that is any I'm clue. looking for a person. You're looking for people, yeah. It's so embarrassing for me, but the moles stuck into the garden. Sorry? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's already annoying. Uh, it. 10 seconds. Is that staged? No, it's not staged, it's not. No, him? <laughs> The moles snuck into the garden last night. And four minutes, 38 seconds. There you go. Great job, Eva. Thank you. Congratulations on your first task and making me go for a run. Three, two, one. Task failed, ma. That's you, Andre. You have failed the task, unfortunately. Um, we had not out of the two people found. We could try. Where are they? He took us for a run. I complained so much. I think a lot of that was out of the bag. I know it was only five minutes long. Oh, uh, it was five minutes for interviews. Um, that makes ten. Yeah. yeah, so that was actually <laughs> ten minutes long. Oh, oh, ten minutes <laughs> long. <laughs> and I think at the very start, when Andrew said, can you keep up with me? I foolishly said, oh, yes. I regretted that choice immediately after saying that. That's excellent to hear. I mean, on that note, I never thought that we'd have to define the definition of hidden and <laughs> to people. So, <laughs> well done, you two. So, do, are we clear on the definition now? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. I do recommend you, um, Eva, the fact that when you got somebody who wasn't, like, when you got it wrong, you swiftly moved on. You didn't waste your time. You got on with it. Because it's embarrassing. I didn't want them to recognize my face. Yes, there was also you know, an element of haste about yours, like you wanted to approach everybody, you wanted to get there the was, done. Uh, I'd say this would be an adequate word to describe what that was. And, you know, we appreciated that. Um, Andrew, I feel like you took a very chill approach to this. I took her for a run. <laughs> <laughs> and I appreciate you doing as an exercise. Yeah, I took her for a run, but also didn't really seem that keen to ask anybody. any questions. Be shy. Be shy. Be shy. I asked like four. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's excellent. So if we just review here, either you managed to get one agent. <laughs> one is better than none, it so is. congratulations. Exactly. But that did take you yeah. the entire time to get one. Cheer. No <laughs> person needed, thank you. Because, Andrew, you got zero agents. I don't know. I'm not going to lie, Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> when, when the VT ended, I looked over, and the look on your face was as if you just realised that you didn't find any. <laughs> <laughs> you look so sad. If I was a kid, it's good. Have you still been looking the whole time? <laughs> there is a lie, didn't you? Thank you, Mother. Second, that's the task. You like getting into bed, like, where's the mole? Where's the mole? <laughs> He's still looking around. Yeah. Well, anyways, we'll move on to our next one. Uh, next up, we had Jenna and Phoebe. Um, unlike Eva and Andrew, I quite enjoyed. Um, Chris Keaton in the, their tasks. <coughs> I was told uh, jogged at a slow pace. Yeah, it, it was. <laughs> pace. Mm, at that point, we warned. Uh, you can actually see at what point these were filmed because it was like, please, please stop because I couldn't do it anymore. It's okay, honey. Yeah. Not sorry. Let's have a little look. Hello, Jenna. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Are you ready for your first task? Yes. I like the confidence. Thank you, thank you. Hello, Phoebe. Hello. You ready for your first task? Just about. <laughs> Here we go, you can take a read of that. 
The aim of the task is simple. You have five minutes to locate the two secret agents hidden in botanic gardens. The fastest time wins. You may ask as many people as you can within the time limit. But you may only say this phrase, the mole snuck into the garden last night. If they reply with agent activated, you have succeeded. If they give you a bewildered stare, try again. Good luck contestant, your time starts now. And your time has just started. Right, okay. Time starts now. I just need to process what I was saying there because I didn't actually, um, hang on. I'm going to look like such a weirdo doing this. I love it. Ask, ask people, as in you guys or the public? The public? People? Public? Okay, right. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Sir, have you, do you, do you any uh, secret agents? Anything? He doesn't know. The man doesn't know. The man doesn't know. The mole snuck into the garden last night. Oh, hey, I found one. That's one out of two. You're nice. only 40 seconds in, so you've enough five minutes. Four minutes, 20. Do you anything? Are you a secret agent, sir? No? Yes? No. Sorry, sir. That's a minute yes. gone. Please, I've got no geography. I've got a two in geography. Jesus, I'm not cut out for this. I used to think Ireland was by France before I came here. Thank you. I'm trying to see who else looks like they could have been poised for this. Mm. Is there a look of poise that you found in the last guy that brought you to him or anything? Or just yeah, he just looked too planned. Mm. Okay. Oh, sh I've done the I've done the bloody task wrong. I need to ask someone. I've been doing it wrong this whole time. I need to actually say the mole stuck into the garden last night. The mole snuck into the garden last night. Pardon? <laughs> no, <but> sorry. <laughs> the mole snuck into the garden last it night. Did it, didn't it? it did. It did snick. No, you're not the agent. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm reading as I go. <laughs> See, I don't really know my way around the botanic gardens at all. Mm. So, which is definitely helping, I'm sure. Yeah. They're school children. I'm gonna stay away from the children. Uh, that's a child. Why are there so many children? Um, I'm just gonna say it to you just in case. The mole stuck into the garden last night. Damn it. Oh well. Wow. Oh, that would be nice. So it would be nice. That would have been nice. Any hints, guys? Please, please. I can't, I can't do this. Can't anything more than what's on the task already. Like that's I'm enough. Have to start running. I'm just gonna have to start running. <laughs> the mole snuck into the garden last night. No! Uh, or him. Just Excuse me, sir. The moles. They snuck into the garden last night. Isn't that? Oh, thanks! Ten. The mole snuck into the garden last night. And that's your time up. Damn it. Five minutes. How do you feel that went? Kind of awfully. <laughs> kind of awfully. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say it went great now, no. personally. Um, uh, you got one secret agent. There yeah. is one still in the park somewhere. Right. But these things happen. Oh well. One second. You're one second. <laughs> <laughs> You're five, two. five, five minutes. On each. Well, I didn't actually realise what the task was. Halfway through. No, but you got one out of the two agents. I could have walked right past the agent and they wouldn't have known what I'm talking about. Could have that's the whole point of the task, isn't it? That's awful. Mm. Well, we'll have to try again the next one. We will. We'll have to bloody lie down, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. Well, um, Phoebe, you know I think you actually did a really good job. Thank I know you've only got one agent, but. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, competitive nature coming out. Watch this one. Well, how many did you get? we see how it is. I mean, I think definitely ignore the Rebecca comment. I think you did a great job. Thank you. I also think that your dungarees were really cool. Thank how you. did you feel the task went? As I said, pretty awfully. No, build yourself back up there, please. Um, Jenna. Yeah. <laughs> I sorry. I can't. <laughs> I'm not a mastermind. I can't read something and do it. I, have to, I, need to, I need to process no, it. No, I get that bit because I'm the exact same. Thank you. However, um, when someone says you have one second left, <laughs> just your immediate reaction to start sprinting. I, I don't know what you expect to achieve in the one second. <laughs> I'm trying to get to A to B. Trying to get to A to B. Walk or sprint. 
I'm going to be faster. Didn't you walk like most of the time? <laughs> <laughs> they cut out the bits where I started charging. Did you run? Did, you run? <laughs> did running help? Okay. Did you, how many, sorry, how many did you win again? Two, how many did you win? Sorry? <laughs> yeah, My personal cool. favourite part about Jenna's was that uh, just towards the end, she pointed and went, she looks very suspicious. <laughs> and pointed directly at the agent and then moved on. Intuition, woman's intuition. That's great. Why didn't you act on that intuition? Uh, because the time ran out, didn't it? See, if you'd sprinted faster in the second, yeah. maybe. That was the yeah, goal. I see. Um, that was the goal. Also, I do have down here, it took you exactly three minutes to say the correct phrase. <laughs> it's got slow reaction time. <laughs> you do drama. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Learn the line. <laughs> it doesn't take a bloody... <laughs> <laughs> it's a bloody <laughs> drama. I see. Well, you know, regardless of either approach, you both only got one agent, so neither got all two. But oh well. Should we move on to the next? <laughs> um, the last contestant up we had was Sam. Uh, Sam did get two agents. Did it spoil it? I don't think it does. Okay. Personally. Well, will we have a little look? Good morning, Sam. Hello. I have your first task for you. Mm, thank you. But can I go for it? You can go for it, of course. I like the little art. It's, it's gorgeous, isn't it? It's very nice. Yeah, there's a lot of work done. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this. Where, I can't think. I didn't know where it opened. It's not that complicated. I don't know where the open in the paper. Like, this is not the task. Task, secret agent. The aim of the task is simple. You have five minutes to locate the two secret agents hidden in botanic gardens. The fastest time wins. You may ask as many people as you can within the time limit, but you may only say this phrase. The moles snuck into the garden last night. If they reply with, agent activated, you have succeeded. If they give you a bewildered stare, try again. <laughs> Good luck contestant. Time starts now. So the mole snuck into the garden last night. Let's go to this guy. Looks like a moly kind of man. Do you think so? Yeah. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, do you know the, the mole snuck into the garden? Mm. Oh, shit. Is uh, the mole snuck into the garden last night? What? No? Uh, I thought you might like to know. Okay. No? Well, I don't know why. This isn't, I no? I want to hear. No? That's okay. Right, let's go. Okay, we're going. <laughs> Sorry, the mole snuck into the garden. <laughs> That's one out okay. of two on two right. minutes gone. You've three minutes to find the other agent. Hmm. I'm going to guess they're like fixed locations. I can't imagine the agents are going to be moving. No. Two and a half minutes gone, you're halfway through your time. Shit. Right, we're running again. We're running. <laughs> Someone here. No, he's on the phone. <laughs> the mole snuck into the garden. No. No. No, that would be good. <laughs> that would be a good surprise. I know what I'm gonna do. I know the plan. We just need to execute it. Excuse me. Sorry. Could you do me a favour, please? Could you just reply with agent activated, no matter what I say? Uh, the mole snuck into the garden last night. Agent activated. Are we going to give him I'm that? i got to stop yet. Yeah, 4 minutes 34. That's what task that's asked for. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. <laughs> that's, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> so many things to unpack there. Mm. First of all, before actually completing the task, opening the task <laughs> seems like a task. Yeah. I think that's, yeah. that's point number one. I got better at it. And well done you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Second point, can we just, are we able to read the task again? Because I fear some cheating may have happened. And I just want to get, you know, the nitty gritties down before I give you no points. What kind of, yeah, what kind of cheating? Can we have the exact wording of the task? Okay, so this is the actual task itself. Um, the aim of the task is simple. You have five minutes to locate the secret agent hidden in botanic gardens. You may ask as many people as you can within the time limit, but you may only say this phrase, the mole snuck into the garden last night. If they reply with agent activated, you have succeeded. 
if they give you a bewildered stir, try again. Good luck, contestant. Your time starts now. He okay. still said it. But you then he have to it. say to him to say it didn't activate it before no. you asked him the Not to play devil's advocate, but <laughs> <laughs> you did what the brief said. No, but you, did. you said. never said last night. You also what? said whatever I say. A couple of times he didn't say, say it last night. Activated. That was just talking to him as a friend. Yeah. See, that here's wasn't two talking things. To him here's attack. two things. You didn't technically find the secret agent, but you did fulfill the brief of the task to get them to reply with act agent activated. I think a real spy would figure something like that out. It shows you've got high IQ. First time part of it. In intuition. We've already established you got dyslexia, so you know this could have been <laughs> that, that is mean to dyslexics. <laughs> I would like, like to second that. Yeah, I would also like to remind Jenna that you're in this competition and you don't want Sam to win. No, I'm just I'm a kind person. I'm, okay. I'm not very competitive. It's not my my nature. So. Okay. I'm glad you joined this game show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've this is this is a proper 50-50 for me here because I you have and you it. haven't fulfilled so the task. I lose. <laughs> yeah, I definitely got one, according to the real rules. But according to the interpretation, alternate interpretation of the rules, I have got both, and you can't deny that he did respond with agent activated to the phrase the mole has snuck into the garden. So what you're you saying cannot is deny that. Mentally, mentally, he is the secret agent. Yeah, like secret agent. And you convinced him to be the secret agent? I recruited him. Yes, okay. Um, no. So, should we get on some points here? Okay. So the aim of the task was to get both agents, correct? Correct. And we got, everyone got one, but Andrew who got none? Yeah, I suppose oh, so. Excellent. Same. Zero points all round. What? That was quite harsh. That's nasty. I want to go home. That's just what? nasty. <laughs> did we all... Did... Uh, sure? What? Why? None of you fulfilled the task <laughs> within the time limit. So zero. I did. <laughs> can we have another task, please, Rebecca? We can. We have our next task. Um, this one's a slightly different one. Um, what I tasked our contestants to do, they had 30 minutes in Belfast in which they could, they had to get the best selfie with Mike, as we're well familiar with, our QR, Teddy King. Um, yes, so they had 30 minutes. The stipulations were that they weren't allowed inside buildings and they also weren't allowed to use public transport after the first 10 minutes. So you really want to use it within the first time yeah. if you're going anywhere. Okay, I see. So who do we have first? Um, we're actually going to look at all the contestants at once here. So Excellent. We are. Hello again, Andrew. Hi, Rebecca. This is Mike as well. You should meet Mike as well. Important to the task. Who's Mike? Mike is our, t our mascot for Queen's Radio. You hold on to Mike. Or actually, you take the task. Okay. I'll hold on to Mike for the time being. Task best selfie. Within 30 minutes, you must take the best selfie with the Queen's radio, Teddy Bear Mike. You cannot be inside the building. Public transport is allowed, but only for 10 minutes max. You may not use a bicycle. The best selfie wins. Yeah, and she's running. <laughs> of course. Come on, screen. <laughs> I have an idea. Can you all come to my car? No, we can't all come in your car. <laughs> <laughs> I've got 30 you minutes. No car keys. Let me think. <laughs> We're just hitting on two minutes as well. 30 yeah, minutes? Plenty. Yeah. Plenty of time. Do you guys want to be in a selfie? A selfie? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> Everyone get in. <sighs> Slay, thanks. You ever watch ET? I've got 30 minutes, don't I? Yeah, and you're gonna spend all 30 of them trying to get him to stand. Gorgeous. 
Can you take a selfie? With me? Oh, me? With uh, us? Kiss the bear. Mm. Thank you! <laughs> Can I use you? Hi. Can you hold this? That's creative. I don't think we can even fill him inside at all. Where's, where's David? David! Thank you. That's not okay? Yeah, oh. thank you so much. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Oh, I have a better idea. Yo, free Mike, he was put in prison. It's not coming for 10 minutes. Mm. I'm just glad you're not gonna make me run anymore, to be honest. For now. Yeah, for now. Okay, that's your favorite. And time we're in, 1847. That one, because he's behind bars. Free Mike. That's the one you're going for? Free Mike. Free Mike. Hello again, Phoebe. Hi again. Ready for your second task? Yes, yeah, just about. Just about. <laughs> this is Mike. You can shake his hand as well. Hi, hey, Mike. Thank you. Yeah. Your time starts now. Danny DeVito's at my flat. Okay. We could go get Danny DeVito. Shall we? Can I take him to Starbucks? Is that all right? <laughs> as long as you know, understand the rules. Yeah. We're sweet. Yeah. We can talk through your differences. Me and Mike's differences? Therapy? Yeah. Couple therapy? Couple therapy. Okay. Yeah. So I think I should have Mike. Uh, no. We can't go there. It's 5.29. My key's in the student union. <laughs> That's six minutes gone. <laughs> What's your plans here? So we take them to Starbucks and then... I'm going to... I don't know anything about coffee shops, but I'm going to see if there's a small... You can get, like, a tiny cup of anything and then see if someone is willing to lend me their drink for 30 seconds. Oh, you can't be inside a building. Ah. Oh, that might slightly ruin the plan then. So now I've got to come up with the best selfie without Danny DeVito. I don't know what that would be. Shall we enroll him in Queens? Get him off to university? I don't know if there's, I don't think there's a high percentage of degrees within the bear population. Okay. I think it might be good to give something to those who struggle to get education. Okay. What's time to me is that empty Presumably empty can of apple cider. I think, I don't know whether mine conduces alcohol or not. <laughs> I don't know, Mike, Mike hasn't said a lot to me either way about how much alcohol he takes. I think this is it. This, you think this is it? I'm glad you only went for a half pint for him. He's only a young fella. <laughs> I think Mike's really happy. He seems to be happy as well. Can, can I get everyone in for a selfie with him? Is that a possibility? That's the one? I think that's the one. Show us? Yeah. You'll go with uh, the final one? Do you want to show it to some of the cameras? And that is our time, our task completed. Seven minutes and 14 seconds. <laughs> Do I read this out? Yep. Within 30 minutes, you must take the best selfie with the Queen's Radio teddy bear, Mick. Mike? Mike. Can I go into the student union? Can I go into the student union? Yes. Yes, okay. I was Do just you know, want to reread the task? Yeah. Did I just read it wrong? I just want to think to myself, what is the, like, the best? I think we're going to go down Botanic Avenue. I'm feeling Botanic Avenue. I think I need to start running. So I start jogging? I'm going to light jog. I'm going to lightly jog. I'm going to lightly jog. Time to lightly jog. Nice jumper. No worries. 
What does this do? Does this go to the city centre? Where's the university, sorry? Jordan's Town University. Jordan's Town University, what's that? That's Ulster. Ulster. Should we go to Ulster? No? No. Right, this is, I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm losing the will to live. Oh, that's just, excuse me, sir. No. Mm. That was Santa, but he's busy. He's on his day off. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Didn't even want you anyway. That man. That man. Excuse me, sir. Thank you, sir. Pleasure okay. to meet you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. No, I'm done. You know what I'm done? I think this one. That one's the one I want to go for? Absolutely. We're done. That was underwhelming. And we're going to stop the clock. Just under 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> BBC, they just think I didn't get the end. Why didn't you use the ball, man? <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, um, he's far more interested in you. Pack here. I don't actually quite know where to start. Um, actually, I do know where to start. Eva, you get a selfie with Mahatha Staffers and you don't use it. Let me, okay, I went into that building and there were 20 students and I was like, oh my God, everyone I said, and everyone said yes. And then five people came out, and I was like, that is not the vision. And this builder gave me everything. But you don't need five people when you have David Mahaffey. David Mahaffey is worth 10, man. Can someone, sorry, who is this, who's David Mahaffey? <gasps> sorry, sorry, don't do broadcasting. God sorry, forbid. Sorry, give it up, Sorry. But I do promise. <laughs> Can I also he, add to Eva's point that the, the photo with the builder was taken, I think, three minutes into the task. Um, we continued to run for an, at least another 20 minutes after that. And then she went back and showed uphill. It is uphill to start. And then back downhill. And then back downhill. And then said, yes, we'll go with the photo that I took two minutes after we started the time. You doing OK? Honey? No. <laughs> Look, what I'm going to say is a selfie with David Mahaffey would have got you first place straight away. And I'm still not getting first place for the builder. Well, we don't know. Guys. We'll see. Um, next to unpack, I have down here blatant abuse towards Mike from Andrew. That's not abuse. The, falling <laughs> off the bike, <laughs> being put behind bars. Free Mike, what did Mike do? Can't say. <laughs> you know. He's in witness protection now. You're like, you're like one of those bear captors yeah. that make bears dance. Also, I will point out, there was a comment made that you couldn't use bikes. Thank goodness you didn't use that selfie. But here we are. Disqualification. What is that even like? <laughs> I couldn't use a bike to like get anywhere. I wasn't going anywhere. I just used a bike as a prop. I but the bike's a bike. What was that sentence? You used a bike? <laughs> 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 I didn't go anywhere. Well, here we are. Sorry. You didn't use it, so we're all good. Um, I mean, next up, I'd like to say, Sam, your genuine care for Mike yeah. warms my heart. He was like my son that day. <laughs> I feel like heart. I had such a like fatherly bond to him. Oh, I like the love. I like how he brought both you and Rebecca together. Yeah. I liked, you know, it was all great Jeez, until so um, you got him a half pint and then <laughs> put his ass near heater. That wasn't, the, the, the heater bit wasn't in the selfie. Oh no, the task had finished at that stage and then he started the abuse of my... So the love just for the cameras. Well... My interpretation was that, like, we did so much more with Mike. Our, like, our idea was that we'd give Mike the best day of his little bear life that he's ever I, had. I drunk. would like to... <laughs> I would also like to say that you keep saying R as if I was, I was just being forced into this marriage. Um, it we wasn't did. something... You keep saying R, what we intended to do. This is your task, so... You'd also, for the like, first... drag her through the town. Now, yes, I ran, but it's not about me. And then you realised you didn't even have your keys, <laughs> and you had to turn back. Yeah, well, but we got there in the end. Why would you but drink I'd just like to say, clearly the couple's therapy didn't work. Well, there no, we are. Um, Phoebe, Phoebe, yours was really <laughs> sweet. I really <laughs> liked yours. You got all the crew involved. You decided, I'm going to give these people credit. And I thought that was really great from you. How'd you do that like yourself? I'm very proud of myself. Excellent. But then she lifted a can of cider off the ground. That was, that was truly rock bottom. That behaviour wasn't amazing, but it wasn't in the selfie. So I, I emptied the can before giving it to him. It's not as bad as <laughs> giving him a half pint. No, oh, it was his first pint. It was a momentous you occasion. Him a pint off the side of the street. But I could have pissed. You gave him street pint. <laughs> Sam, were you Mike's dad though, or were you? Hmm? Were you his dad though? Adopted. Okay. You're not street smart, Phoebe, for doing that. I see. Do you not think it's the right for Mike's 
dad to give him his first pint. We don't talk about Mike's dad. <laughs> I see, complicated part. Someone had to, someone had to step in. Okay. And you know, yeah. I greatly appreciate that you did. Not to bring the tone of the show down, but you know, free Mike's dad. I don't think we want it. Free Mike, more like free <laughs> Sam for giving underage kids alcohol. <laughs> Jenna, I'd like to say the speed, I think, was greatly appreciated by Rebecca. The, the gentle jog, the walk, and you had half an hour and you used it well. You're welcome, I'm athletically incompetent. It's no trouble. <laughs> That's okay. Athletically honey. incompetent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for a light jog. <laughs> I'm going, no, I'm going, I'm, no, she's going for a light jog. She's going for a light jog. She's going, going, going for a light jog. jog. I'm going for a light jog. <laughs> going for a skirmish. I think, I'm going for a <laughs> the only thing I'm going to say, you took a photo in front of the BBC but didn't get the BBC's logo in it. <laughs> was, I'm not a narcissist, it wasn't a picture of me. The BBC logo was meant to be in there. But it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> so the intention was there. Because Mike, like Mike, like, you know, Mike's that are used in the BBC. So I thought... No way. Didn't you be this Mick? <laughs> Who's this Mick? <laughs> Who's this fella? Mick. I'm going to take a selfie with Buzzy Mick. This man. <laughs> right, guys. Will we get on with some judging here? Okay. I'm going to need a moment here to actually remember them. Talk Mine about the, the best. best ones. If that's on your channel. I try to remember them all. So, um, in fifth place, just purely because the intention was there, but the execution wasn't, we do have Jenna. <laughs> Had you got the logo in, it may have been higher. Probably. Um, in, in fourth place, because you did not use the selfie with David Mahaffey, you cannot go any higher. I know that builder. He may have put in great he work. He kissed the bear. That's great. But you had the opportunity. You took time out of David Mahaffey's busy day, and you didn't use the selfie. And in you let some place. random builder kiss Mike? Yeah. Nice He's nice for the video. Are we assuming Mike's a child? That's a bit weird. <laughs> Don't do things like that. He, he gave a drink. He gave a drink. <laughs> Andrew, he gave a drink. Is he a teen? Third place. How do you know? Third place we have Andrew. I appreciate the sentiment behind it. This is an honest bear. He does deserve to be freed if he was put behind it. Really? However, you know, we do. Second place, if you're going to commend the crew here, we've got to give it to Phoebe. I mean, it's a great crew we've got on Taskmaster. <laughs> And in first place, purely because of the bond built between Mike and man, it's going to have to go to Sam. Uh, Sorry, Sam, I just haven't reached a paternal or slash maternal age yet. <laughs> if I was allowed to stand up, I'd give him a hug. <laughs> but I'm not allowed to stand up. Queen's radio can do not reach I really appreciate the really enthusiastic round of applause there from the yeah. rest of the yeah. contestants. Yeah, why did we do that? Oh, yeah. It, Boo! <laughs> <laughs> it it's really shows the team spirit we have here. Yeah. Um, Maybe we should take a look at what the scores are scores the so doors. far. Let's have a look. Oh. Oh, what? Okay. Okay. Oh. 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 So we actually have a tie. We do. A tie at the top and a tie at the bottom and somebody right in between. If only I was allowed the agent points. I'm my own person. Hmm. If only anybody was allowed the agent points. <laughs> here we are. I mean, well, all to play for. Right, can we have the final task of the show, please, Rebecca? Of course. Uh, the final task was personally my favourite because the contestants couldn't leave like five metres away from me, um, which meant they couldn't run. Um, <laughs> I bet you still find a way. I love it when people don't run away from me. Um, basically, what the task was fairly simple. Um, we gave them some equipment, and all they had to do was make a poster for a February fundraiser for Excellent. Queen's Radio because we need funds. Um, so that's all they had to do, make a poster that would catch the eye and make mm. people give us money. Stunning. So simple enough? Simple enough, um, you would on. think. Um, we'll take, I say we take a look at uh, Eva, Andrew and Jenna's first. Hello again, Eva. If I have to make a paper airplane again. Again. Hello again, Andrew. Hi, Rebecca. It's good to see you again. It's been about five minutes. It's been, yeah, it's been, I don't even think it has been five minutes. That doll's heavy. Hello again, Jenna. Hello again. How's things? Brilliant. Great. Thank you. How many times do you make a paper airplane? Once in my whole life. Once was too many. Yeah. Well, if you open the task, maybe you'll find out what oh. you have to do. You ready for your next task? Okay. <clears throat> shall I read it aloud? You shall. 
You must create a poster to raise money for Queen's Radio in line with February Fundraising Month. There are no limits other than the given time of 10 minutes and you must remain within the studio. Be as creative as you wish. Anything you see is at your disposal. The best poster wins. Right. Good luck, contestant. That's me. Time starts now. Okay, okay. Nothing coloured in with. I'm going to talk through my process. I'm like, I'm yeah, whatever you feel like. You can tell you me what you're you thinking. Again. So Your time has just started. I'm glad to know. I once did really well in art when I was 12. Mm. My favourite part about this task is that you can't leave this room, so it means you can't run away from me again. <laughs> you think that? I'm like scouting the room because there's like some glitter. There's like some funky little... Yeah, radio studios are known for their glitter, actually, you're right. I have an idea. That's really good. That's a good start to have a good idea. I use one bit of paper. Okay. I can't really talk it over and draw. Oh, like, that's okay. You, you, like you can draw. Can yeah. I just draw? Yeah, just draw. I'm going to draw a big mic, sort of colour it in, and then I'm going to... Oh, God. I'm not going to win this one. Bet there's someone that does fine art who's bloody part of the contestants. Just in case there's like another colour pen or something. <sighs> this pen isn't like... The pen's kind of... That's such a shame, isn't it? You cope. might, you I'll, might I'll, just I'll have cope. to... I'll cope. Okay. Over. The coping I went well there. Can't do that, can't I know. <laughs> what were we raising money for? For Queen's Radio. For Queen. Right. Raise money. I'll put a four, like the number four, because I think that That's will. It's quite hip and trendy, isn't it? Yeah, it will engage yeah. with a young audience. But the quality isn't. Well, what do you think is going to win my heart? And the heart of Orla as well. Improvisation and comedy? Perhaps. Yeah, that, that pen's not working out for me. I'll go pencil. That's a shame. I'm so shaky. I have that effect on people. What, what's our target audience? That's what, we always have to ask, what is the target audience? Students. More money. Maybe I'll draw a limelight. Yeah. I'm just gonna like. This does seem like a safety issue. Oh, am I breaking the rules? N no, not at all. Um, it does. It, it does say anything is at your disposal. That's in this room as well. But like, I did scatter around the room. I can't see anything of use to me. It's really unfortunate that you can't see anything of use. But you tell me like that there is something of use. Free entry if you give to Queen's Radio and I'll draw someone looking happy. With 20 seconds to spare, you're finished. Good job. 9.44, you're happy? Perfect. It's really eye-catching. I think you did a great job there. It's actually quite Is that a desert scene? That's your budget. Oh, that's really inventive actually. I'm enjoying that. Good job. Okay, cool. Legendary. It's but am I allowed to use anything in the room? You are allowed to use anything in the room. God, I'm not going to lie, you've not given me much to work with, guys. I'm really having to get the creative juices flowing. I don't even know the Queen's Video logo, but I'm going to guess it. So... Just because Queen's Video is really cool and they need money. Well, I'm going to take a sit back down because I... To be quite frank, I can't see any materials. Can you, you speak. No. Nope. Don't know if I'm blind, but... And then under that, I said, the cosy lives are hitting hard. And then I have some, you know, pound signs. Okay. Yeah, as you would. And then, yay money. And then in brackets, police send us money. And then in, on the corner here, I got dollar dollar bill, y'all. Don't want to overdo it, so. Are you happy with that? Yes. Yeah. Nine minutes on the button, a minute to spare. Is that incredible? That, uh, that is incredible. If I'm missing and there's if I'm missing something and there's some big colour water oil crayons, 
I'm gonna be very angry. Potter oil crayons, <laughs> yeah. And that's it. That are you are you happy with your final design? Are you not? It feels like are you're you asking me if I'm it, not, not And then of course, you know, big Queen's radio logo because she's fab. And that's what I got. Thank you so much, Eva. You're welcome. Yeah, no, I'm done. You're done? I'm done. This is this is the final product. Seven minutes twelve? This represents the budget that we have. So please don't it. <laughs> oh well guys, hot damn. Um I've made a note, must get glitter for studio to help. <laughs> yeah. Um necessary note. I I can't actually wait to see these. Um Jenna. Yes. <laughs> I, I love the intent behind it, Thank but you. it was <laughs> What does it need to be so <laughs> It's just, mics could have been drawn in different ways. I drew a lime to represent limelight. <laughs> and I, so if we circle what does back that to mean? Mike, if we circle back to Mike, I'm pretty sure you were looking at three mics at the time as well, or at least one would have been in the studio to help reference the drawing? I don't, I've got a mental image. You think I need a mic to reference a mic? No. Really? <laughs> it's a really mental image. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, also, real quick, we'd love to just call out station manager Rebecca um, for not knowing the purpose of February fundraising and why we are raising funds. I don't think that, well, <laughs> I do know what we're raising funds for, but I didn't think it was adequate. I, yeah, I'll say it to the camera. I think I do. Know, <laughs> so, I do know what we're raising funds for. I'm very sure of it, actually. But I didn't think that they needed to know. The task was what the task was on the page, and I didn't think any extra information was going to make that task any better. So the information, the task was figured out. Right, well, I'm glad they did and without your assistance. Mm, so but here we are. Um, are we able to get these posters up? Because I'd love to have a little look, just a cross-reference of my notes here. <laughs> oh, wow. I, um, on the left is Andrew's, as far as I remember, and on the right is Eva's, if that's any help. Um, my that's fear a, uh, sorry, that yeah. is an excellent depiction of the logo. That's Isn't it? Oh, it's stunning 10 out of 10. Thank you. Andrew, is that guy in tears? Why? <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. And just, just for an added bonus, my favourite part about Andrew's poster was that to depict Queen's Radio, he drew um, an image of someone using a camera. <laughs> no, 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 go to the bottom now. one. Go to the bottom one. I like see the, that now. That's good. The lower half of the poster. Talk us through that, Andrew. That's your yeah. budget. <laughs> the desert. <laughs> With a safe, oh, lying wide open, and then flies coming out. I like the element of begging. I like yeah. the begging. Yeah, a Really shows your desperation, please. Well, there's no. nothing to no. No. So, no. Just as an addition, this is all Jenna's poster. It came in two parts. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, Where? I didn't know that. The bit on top. Hence my confusion. Oh, so I made it, I, there was no glue because of the funds, the lack of Who's funds. Who's the person? Forgotten. Sorry, it was a quite a while ago. Yeah. Well, here I appreciate that you made two posters, so we have more to that, go around. Is the circle underneath? This is <laughs> lime. That's is that the lime? That's both of the, all circles you see are limes. So, so that's a lime sorry. with a longer lime I'm coming out of the bottom. Meanness. Sorry. Right, guys. Well, that was great entries from the first three of you. Will we go into the final two? Yeah, I think we should move swiftly on from the two of those. Um, next up, we had Sam and Phoebe, who made maybe a slightly better attempt at the task. Oh. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I don't even know if that's true. <laughs> oh. Hello again, Sam. Hi, Dorothy. I've, I've brought Mike. Phoebe, welcome back. Hi. You ready for your final task? Yes. Have the envelope right there. You can take a look at that. Are you ready for your last task? No. No. Well, there's your envelope on the table. Mm, thank you. Task. Queen's Radio Poster. You must create a poster to raise money for Queen's Radio in line with February fundraising month. There are no limits other than the given time of 10 minutes and you must remain within the studio. Be as creative as you wish. Anything you see is at your disposal. At your disposal? Disposal, <laughs> At yeah. your disposal. The best poster wins. Good luck contestant, your time starts now. 
Well, you're in luck. Why am I in luck? I've got a poster making degree. You have a, is that is that a degree yeah. the Queen's offers? Art GCSE skills coming in clutch oh, right here. An artist amongst us. That oh. sounds like a good start. That's I don't you. have a degree in poster making. No, that was no. just a lie. Okay. Do you have a media degree? The evidence of the logo. I can't remember it off the top of my head. No. <laughs> okay, right. Anything you see is at your disposal. It's Taskmaster. There's gonna be stuff hidden somewhere. Well, I, I might be completely blind. I think I'm being blind. You might be, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can see one right there. Drawing a. What? I'm acting like I've won. That's, that's, all, that's all the task was. <laughs> Page is blank. I'm gonna keep looking though. I have not picked up a pencil and paper since COVID, so no time like the present. Okay, I'm gonna get a reference image up of the Queen's Radio logo. That's just step one. Of how many steps? Ten. Okay. Do you have a vision of your poster here when you're doing it or? Not no, really. No, just start. I don't know whether to be, I don't know whether to make it a nice poster or a convincing one. I'm gonna do my best likeness of the Bob Geldof famous line from Band-Aid. My internet's not working. I can't get the logo. Hang on. Can I get, I'm gonna get a reference image. I think I can work with this. I've forgotten what Bob Geldof looks like, but... There's nothing screams Queen's Radio quite like Bob Geldof. <laughs> I'm not artistic. You're not? Not really. Try to figure out how to elevate this poster further than it already is. I feel like I set myself high standards by talking about art GCSE. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I, feel, I feel like they've not quite... When, when you fruition. said art GCSE, it was automatically expecting to hang something in the Louvre at the end of this, but <laughs> it appears not to be that way. You know what, I'm going to switch colour for every word. Why have the colours if you don't use all exactly. of them? Yeah. Exactly. I'm just thinking, you're, you're in Covid year of GCSE, so you, yeah. didn't even, you just got given a GCSE in. Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah, that seems more likely to judge me what's happening right now. And next thing to do, we're going to tell them where to send the money. So okay. they see the poster, they are like, right, give us your money. Then they're like, where do we, where do we send the money? Okay. Where do we send it? So I'm just going to put my bank details. Yeah, I think I might need to apologise to my art teacher if she ever sees this. <laughs> Seven minutes gone. This is, this is the game. This is the game now. The game is the Wi-Fi? Yeah, so I can get the bank details. To, to counterbalance oh. this sort of mean message. Yeah. Make it a bit nicer, have some hearts and... They need to know why we want money. We need it. You may as well use your last 40 seconds to just cover the, the, the whole yeah. thing in, in hearts and stars <laughs> and puppy dogs. And that is your time up. <laughs> right. You've 10 seconds after the clock, is that you? Yeah, that's me. It's bigger. It's colourful. It's um, it's direct. And there's a place for them to actually send their money. We've got the large Queen's Radio logo to grab the attention and make it clear what it is. With pointing out that it's February fundraising month around the edge. And then the famous Bob Geldof quotation, just to really hammer the point across. Um, and then it was looking a bit empty, so I filled it with nice things to sort of counterbalance the the statement at the bottom. Queen's Radio, give us your money. Great job. Yeah, I think you've got a new slogan there as well. <laughs> oh, well, guys. Um, <coughs> I mean, I want to say, Phoebe, you shouldn't put yourself down because your art GCSE skills really did come in handy there. Thank I was you. very, very impressed from you. It was a lovely circle. It was a lovely circle. Yeah. Um, what I wasn't impressed with, though, was um, your insults towards Phoebe <laughs> while she was drawing. I was just saying what I saw. I know it had been a long day, but... Mm. I, I was just... 
I don't know how to make it sound better than it was. Um, Phoebe was making art, she was. and I was commenting on it. I will defend my actions no further. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I enjoyed it, Phoebe. Thank you very much. Thank um, you. Sam. Hi. I'm very 50-50 here. First of all, congratulations for being the only person to actually get the pens. Thank you. Um, Phoebe and Jenna, I want to bring you both into this. You both managed to look at under the table signs, <laughs> like look them in the face and not think to look under the table. See, I, I, wasn't, I was looking for the Queen's Radio logo and so that was what was in my head. And I saw all the post-it notes, <laughs> so they had words on them, and thought, that's not a message for me. I'm not going to read it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'll be polite. I'll not, there might be something they've forgotten to take it down. I don't know. OK, no, I'll accept that. I will accept that. Um, Sam, I'm glad you had colour. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Bank details. Yeah. <laughs> they need to know where to send it. So your account? Yeah. How much do you need? <laughs> I have enough for David's teleprompter. <laughs> enough for David's teleprompter there, yeah. Should we take a look at the posters and then maybe we can make a decision as to what the scores are? Um, I, I would, oh, Jesus, not that I can indicate the scores, but the fact that we had to blur out part of the sound. <laughs> <laughs> well, so can I just say, um, your reasoning for why we need money, because we need it. Are we wrong? You're not wrong, but more creativity could have gone into this. Um, There's different colours. I do appreciate the colour. Yeah. Well done for finding it. Yeah. Thank you. Although I will say, did you have a reference for um, Queen's Radio, the logo? Yeah. Phoebe didn't, and she managed to do a better one. <coughs> I don't want to criticise the skills. She did say she had a sticker of it. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. OK, we'll let you off there. <laughs> But I appreciate the colour. Bob Geldof, wow, what a man. <laughs> That's excellent. Right, I'm going to... Orla, can we get some scores, please? I'm going to try. You get a bit tired. Uh -huh. mm, okay. I'm exhausted. Right. OK. We're ready for some scores here. So in fifth place, just because we cannot condone inappropriate drawing, we do have Jenna. What the score? Score? Um, In fourth place... You know what you did. In fourth place, though I love the commitment, we do have Eva. Just, it's just where it lands. Third place, because you said it was going to your bank, we have Sam. I know you found the colours, but we can't condone that. Um, second place, we're going to do Andrew, because there was a lot of creative drawing in there, and I do appreciate that. However, in first place, with the art GCSE skills coming in hand, we do have Phoebe with her amazing poster. So thanks very much, guys. So will we see who has won this chaotic competition and taking home all the lovely beverages today? I suppose we'll have to. Oh, wow. So in last place, we do have Jenna. Thank you for the great attempt. Then joint third, we've got Andrew and Eva. Coming in with a very close second, we have Sam. But taking home all the beverages is Phoebe. Congratulations, my love. You've got some great bevies on you. I'm no sore loser. So what just happened is Phoebe just made herself hot chocolate. <laughs> yes, well done, Phoebe. Thank you. Well, that is us today for Taskmaster. How are you feeling after that? Overwhelmed. There was a lot of chaotic energy in that. Mm, how do you think? I did three more days of this than you did, so welcome, <laughs> welcome to the show. I suppose Sorry. I would say we could you see us again next week for next week's episode, but that's not the case. It's not happening ever again, hopefully. <laughs> well, we enjoyed it while it lasts. Mm. So thank you for watching. Thank you to all the contestants. Thank you to the crew. This has been Taskmaster, The Mole. <laughs>